Hello, welcome to iPad Training. I'm going to start from the very beginning, so if you've used an iPad before, you might not have to watch this beginning section. So first, some terminology. The little circle button on the right is called the Home button, and if you press that, it brings you to the Home screen. And on the top left, you have the Lock button, and if you press that, it will lock your iPad. Each of these little boxes is an application, and we usually call it an app for short. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is how to manage your applications. Of course, by now, I'm sure you know how to add an app, but if you don't, you have something called the App Store. And if you click that app, it opens up this box, and you have a couple different ways you can look for applications. You can either click up here and type in the search bar, and whatever you type, it will bring up. Or you can go by category on the bottom, or you can look at what's top on the charts, and choose what you want to order. Some of them have prices, some of them are free. And if you wanted to choose the Disneyland Explorer, for example, you would just go to the app and you'd click the free button there and it would download. Obviously, I'm not going to add that app right now. And if you click the home button, it brings you back to the home screen once again. Now, after you've added apps, you might want to delete some. And that's pretty simple to do. All you do is take any app, tap and hold it until they all start jiggling. Now you'll notice that a bunch of apps have X's in the top left corner of them. If you click that X, it's going to ask you, do you want to delete this app? And if you choose yes, it will delete. I'm not going to delete my app right now, but that's how simple it is. You'll also notice that there are a lot of apps that don't have an X in the top left corner. And that's because those are standard apps, and you have to keep them. They come with the iPad. If you want to move your apps around, they have to be in this jiggle mode once again in order to be moved and all you need to do is tap and hold and then drag it anywhere and wherever you drop it the other apps will rearrange themselves so that they fit you can also move an app from one screen to another because as you can see I have multiple screens of apps and that's pretty simple you just click and hold drag it to the edge of the screen and the screen will change pages and then you can drop it there and you can bring it back just as easily you can also create a new page by holding it until it goes to a blank page and now you have a new page just for this app. Let me just drag that back to where it originally was. You can also create folders. You'll notice that I have a Cablevision folder here with all my Cablevision apps in one spot. And you could rename it whatever you like. It's pretty simple to create folders. You take an app, click and hold, and drag it on top of any other app, and then let go. It creates a folder and it names it. It named it Music because I use the Music app. But all you really have to do is click and hold, and then you can retype and name it anything you want to name it. To get rid of the folder, all you have to do is open the folder up and click and drag the apps anywhere on the screen outside of the folder. And once you've taken both of those apps out of the folder, the folder itself disappears. On the bottom of the screen, you'll notice you have some apps that are on what I call the static bar. Because as you change pages, these apps don't move. They're always there. Obviously, you're going to choose apps that you use a lot to keep on that bar. And it's just as easy to take things on and off of the bar. You just click it, drag, and drop, and now it's off of the bar, and I can change pages. And I can take it and I can put it back just by dragging it onto the bar. In order to get out of the jiggle mode and go back to your regular standard apps so you can open them up, just click the Home button, and now they stop shaking, and now they're regular apps once again. As you use your iPad, you're going to open and close apps quite often. When you open an app and then you click the home button to close the app, it's actually still running in the background. So once in a while it's a good idea to hard close all the apps that you have running in the background. To do that, double click your home button and it pops up and everything on this bottom bar and there's multiple bars is running in the background. To close those apps, to hard close them so they're fully closed, click and hold and it goes into jiggle mode again, but you'll notice instead of X's in the top left corner, it's got minus signs. So if I were to hit the minus sign, I'm not actually deleting these apps, I'm just hard closing them. They're still here, they'll still be on the home page, they're just not running in the background anymore. And that's useful because it doesn't slow down your iPad anymore. While we're on the screen, one other thing to talk about is if you were to swipe to the right, this page is always here, and it has your music button, you can adjust the sound, you press play to start some music. You can adjust the brightness of your screen and the lock button. This is the lock orientation button, I should say. 
So right now I have it locked, and if I click it, it's unlocked, and click it again, it's locked. Mainly that is so that if you take your iPad and turn it vertical, if you don't want the screen to flip around like it automatically does, you put it into lock mode. And to get back to the main screen again, click the home button, and we're back home.